Next thing we're going to do is make sure that jig gets down close to the bottom. So what you want to do is pick a heavy enough jig that you can for sure feel the bottom. If you aren't feeling the bottom, you aren't in the fish zone. So most of the time around here, what you're going to be looking at is a quarter or maybe a 3 8 ounce jig. If you got to go a lot heavier than that, you're probably in a little too much current or you're probably having problems with that boat control. So a quarter or 3 8 is going to be good. The reason we don't want to go to a real, real heavy jig is again because of the way that fish bites. Walleyes really don't bite a bait. What they do is suck it in. So if you're using a great big jig and they try to suck it in their mouth, it won't get in there and you will get what everybody calls a light bite. Right? Oh, I got a light bite. It skinned my minnow or plucked off my minnow, pulled off my crawler. That's a light bite. Well, it was a light bite, but it was probably caused by you, not by that fish. When a fish tries to bite your jig and bait, they want to eat the whole thing. They don't want to just nip at the tail. They just don't want to get part of it. They want the whole thing. So maybe your jig was too heavy. Maybe uh, you had, you know, as you pulled up and you started to feel the fish, you put too much tension on, he just opened his mouth. Maybe you got some gas on your hands in the morning and he tasted that and he spits it out. Light bites a lot of times are just that fish not getting it all the way in or not holding it long enough for you to set the hook. So by going to a lighter jig, like a quarter or three eighths, they will suck it real easily in their mouth, get a long way in, and you'll get a good hard hook set. One thing that can help you with uh, walleyes as far as bites is the type of jig that you use. Uh, hopefully you can all see this. this is kind of a weird shaped jig. This is called a, a knuckleball. It's a bottom heavy jig. It's a jig with all the weight down on the bottom. What happens is when this jig hits the bottom, it's actually a stand-up jig. And for river fishing, stand-up or semi-stand-up jigs are a real good choice because when they hit the bottom, that hook will actually be up off the bottom and it'll be standing upright and so will the bait. A thing that walleyes will do a lot of times is they will actually suck baits off the bottom. So when you jig down and go to lift up, when you jig down and that jig is just sitting on the bottom, they'll suck it right off the bottom and when you pick up all you'll feel is like a weight or a mushiness. Many people think when they feel that weight or mushiness that they're in a snag. Typically in river fishing, if you're doing it right, it's not a snag, it's a walleye. And if you play around with it and think, oh, maybe it's a snag, maybe jiggle it or test it and things, all that's going to do is make that walleye open his mouth, you'll pull it out and you'll think, well, I wasn't that lucky, I got out of that snag. Yeah, I was really lucky, all right? The guy next to you in the boat who knows what he's doing, when he feels snags, he sets the hook, a lot of the snags swim. All right, so set the hooks on snags and you will get a lot more fish.